Good morning. Today is Tuesday, May 19th, 2020. Please join me and stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. <clears throat> Our grab and go lunch program is still available this week. If you need a lunch, simply fill out the form or call our office by 10 o'clock a.m. and we'll have a lunch available for you to pick up. Our pickup time is still from 11 a.m. to 12 noon each day. Happy birthday today to Michaela Funches and Adeline Corwin. Hope you guys have great birthdays today. We have some new AR Point Club members. Entering the 25 Point Club, we have Holly Anderson, Josh Colgrove, Emma Adelaide Valavia. In our 50 Point Club, we have Grace Leopold, George Murr, Ella Walker, and Jaden Walker. In the 75 Point Club, we have Caden Medler, Jaden Morrison, and Cato Thannenbaugh. And the newest member of our 100 Point Club, Jacob Tudor. Congratulations. I'm very proud of all the reading everyone's doing out there. Today's going to be our first day for supply pickup. Students with the last names A through D will come between 8.30 and 10.30 this morning. And students with the last names E through L will come between 1 and 3 p.m. this afternoon. We ask that when you come in, make sure you come in the correct door. That was sent out to your parents and a map was also sent out. But we need to remember that in order to get everyone in and out safely, when you come in, they'll be limited to one person per student in the building. This may be the adult or it can be the student themselves. All other guests should wait in the vehicle. Everyone entering the school must wear a face covering while inside the building at all times and practice social distancing, staying apart. All of your items, PE items, everything has been placed in your locker. So when you come in the building, all you need to do is enter the building. There'll be a table in your hallway. You can return any library books, textbooks, any other school materials you need to return can be left on the table. There'll be somebody at the table to help you and then go to your locker, grab your stuff and then leave the building. Everyone should be in this building no more than five minutes to get in and out in a safe and orderly manner and so that we have everything wrapped up for the summer. Tomorrow, Students with the last names M through R may attend between 8.30 and 10.30 a.m. And then S through Z may come between 1 and 3 p.m. So everyone with the last names M through Z, you will come tomorrow. I also want to take a minute because with social distancing and everything and the way we've had to end our year, we did not get to have a very special event that we were going to have tonight, which was our eighth grade graduation. So I want to take a moment and just speak to the eighth graders out there. I want to let you guys know that you guys will have a very special place in my heart because you are the first group that I had all the way through junior high. Your sixth grade year, your first year of junior high was my first year as principal here at Morris grade school. And just like I've had to grow and learn moving here to Morris, I've watched you all grow and become excellent young men and women. I'm very proud of the people you've become. In fact, I, it reminded me of a quote by Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln once said, I like to see a person proud of the place in which he lives. I like to see a person live so that place will be proud of them. And I think what makes me makes me think of you guys when I think of that quote is because of how proud we are of you and all your accomplishments in your times at Morris grade school. And we're truly going to miss you guys and your leadership here as you move on to Morris high school. But we are very excited to watch you 
and we hope that you continue to do great things in high school and college and beyond for our community and our world. So to the class of 2020, we will miss you. We are proud of you. Congratulations. And I can't wait until July when we can celebrate all of your accomplishments in person. That's all the announcements I have for today. But let's remember our Morris motto to be respectful, be responsible, and be safe. Have a great Tuesday, everyone.